Hey everybody, Mark here, and I have something different I want to do with my 3D printer. Um, you guys have seen this Prusa i3 MK2 does some amazing prints, you know, like this castle or this spinner. Um, you maybe you've seen this one about the jack stand. It's unbelievable the detail that this printer can produce, but I was wondering... What else can you do with a 3D printer? And, you know, a lot of people that have these machines, maybe some college students have these machines, maybe in their dorm room they spent all of their, uh, all of their extra money on one of these machines, and what else can you do with one of these? And I had the idea of saying, hey, you got a heated bed. Could you make chocolate chip cookies or, or cook with it all together? So here's what we're going to do. we got some Toll House chocolate chip cookies. And it says cook at 350. I think that's about 175 degrees Celsius. Um, I don't think this bed can get that hot, but we'll put it as hot as we can and try to cook these. So we're going to try to cook some chocolate chip cookies today. So the first step, um, this is a PEI bed, so you don't have to theoretically put anything on it. You could probably cook right on top of it. But I'm going to help to... Uh, I'm going to help and, and kind of put a little barrier. I have some Reynolds wrap here, so let me take some Reynolds wrap off. And here we go. I got a piece right here. I'm going to stretch it over everything, and there we go. Here we go. So there is my first part. I'm going to try to stay away from that connector in the back so I don't short anything out. There we go. So there's that. Um, now you could cook on top of this or put some Pam. I have some wax paper, so I'm gonna put that down so hopefully my cookies don't stick down. And so that's that part. Um, next, I think it says you gotta preheat the oven, so let's preheat this. All you have to go is to settings, temperatures, bed, and how high does this go? Oh, wow, 147 degrees. Let's see if it goes that hot. So I'm gonna set it, we just set it to 147 degrees, and I will cut back when it reaches temperature. All right, it's been about 10 minutes of heating this up, and it's going very slowly now, and I really want some cookies, so let's open up these awesome cookies and put them on the bed. So these are the nice ones that come in pre-made squares. So let's see what we can do. Put, the, put one right here. One right here, put a little bit closer, maybe one right here, one right here. So I went and actually made, maybe I can keep some of this heat in, I made some tops for these. So maybe I can scoot this over. I'll press them down too, to help to distribute out that heat. There we go, yes. Press that down, and press this down. I think we can get two more on here. We can put one right here, and one right here, and let us put the top on it, and we'll give it, it says cook time is 12 minutes, so let's put 12 minutes on the clock, and come back. All right, 12 minutes is up, and let's see what temperatures we're getting cooking. So I have this really cheap Centec Harbor Freight Special temperature gauge, non-contact. This thing is horrible. The battery's already falling out. You know, getting close to the holidays, anybody has any suggestions of one I can pick up or have somebody else buy for me, please leave them in comments below. But the top of the piece of metal is sitting at... We're still going up about 24 degrees. It's bouncing around. And let us see how the cookies are going. You can see they they look like they're cooking. Not bad. We'll look at the bed. The bed is sitting at... It shows about 84 degrees. The top of the cookie is 72 degrees. So that's really not 
that bad. It's actually warming up. Let's see. So, I was thinking I was going to have to flip these cookies over, but I think they're cooking just fine as the way they are. So, let us put the top back on it. Give it 10 more minutes and see how they're turning out. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Let's see how the cookies are turning out. Look at that. If you could just smell those, those chocolate chip cookies right now, it smells fantastic. We'll use the old fork test to see how they're doing. Huh? I think they're done. Look at that. Nothing sticking to them. That was a little soft back there, but I like soft cookies. Let's, let's pull one off the plate and see what the bottom side looks like. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks good. They're still a little gooey. Let's kind of look at the inside. But those look, mmm, those taste fantastic. Oh, man. You know what's good with chocolate cookies? Let's turn the heat to bed off first. So, uh, the temperature got up to 147, took uh, 10 minutes plus another 22 minutes to get to that. But what is what is good with chocolate cookies is, you know, some good milk. So, I think we've learned a couple things today. Yes, a 3D printer can cook cookies. So, if you're trying to buy one or try to convince your parents to get one for your dorm room... Hey, you save some money. You don't need a toaster. You don't need, you know, you might be able to use it as a microwave, but this is fantastic. Fantastic way to use your 3D printer. So, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe. If you got other things you want me to cook on my 3D printer, please leave them in the comments down below. And like always, happy printing.